<laughs> so, uh, what's going on? We're celebrating. <laughs> we have a half eaten stale cake. We have reused, almost relevant decoration and uh, terrible party hats that nobody wants to wear. Also, I'm wearing a blazer, so uh, that could only mean one thing. It's an office launch party. <laughs> Our landlord hates us. It's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so as you can probably already tell by the title of this video, depending on what I've decided to title it, uh, I started a nonprofit organization. <laughs> This is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, and now I finally got to do it. So, what is the name of this nonprofit organization? Well, I'm just so glad you asked. Uh, so, I've decided to name this nonprofit organization, Let's Get By Together, Queer Incorporated Association. The Queer Incorporated Association is just added at the end to make the full acronym, but Let's Get By Together is LGBT, and then QIA, Queer Incorporated Association. Hi, this is Aaron from the future here. Sometimes when I film things with my girlfriend, I get really nervous and I forget important things that I wanted to say, so I'm just going to film this now and edit it in and we're all going to pretend that it was seamless, all right? Cool. <laughs> Not to put too much focus on the name of the nonprofit organization here, I just, I wanted to talk about something that I felt was really important about why I chose this name. So obviously, Let's Get By Together also creates the acronym LGBT, but aside from the fact that the initials perfectly match up with the whole LGBTQIA acronym, there's a lot of meaning behind the name of this. I feel like explaining the name will do a better job of explaining what my goals are for this nonprofit. I just thought it was really symbolic that those letters could be not rearranged, but I guess reassigned to also make the phrase let's get by together. And the reason why I find it so meaningful is because for the most part, the LGBT community is such a powerful and fiercely supportive community. We help one another and it's like this cycle of giving. And you know, I wouldn't even be here making these videos had I not received the help that I did from you. The only reason why I have a camera is because someone sent it to me. I don't, I don't make enough money to afford a camera. The only reason I have lights is because someone sent them to me. It's, you know, the only reason why I'm even able to make t-shirt designs is because I was sent a drawing tab for my birthday. Thank you, Jack. I love you, Jack. But basically, I wouldn't be able to be making these things if it were not for the support that I received from the community. So I guess it's just the mixture of my drawings often being coupled with these important messages that I want to spread to raise awareness, and the fact that I wouldn't even be able to be making these designs if it weren't for the help that I received from the community. I didn't feel right making a profit off of all of this. I understand that we all need to pay our bills, we all need to buy groceries, keep the lights on, I absolutely understand that, but I don't feel the need to be making more than that, especially not off of my shirt designs that involve such sensitive topics like this. So I wanted to choose this name because it just coincidentally, perfectly, not only represented the community in a literal way, but represented the whole idea behind this, which is I want us to support each other, I want to contribute back to that cycle of giving that I've been so privileged to be a part of. As much as there are divides within our community, like with some binary trans people attacking non-binary trans people, with some gay, lesbian, and bisexual folk not wanting to be associated with trans folk, the abundance of biphobia that plenty of folks experience, I don't know, sometimes there are attacks on each other within the community and I don't like that and I don't mean to focus on the negativity at all, that's, that's not at all my goal, it's the opposite. The reason why I wanted to bring this up is just to further emphasize why I'm so passionate about this and why the creation of this nonprofit organization was so meaningful to me and why the name that I chose was so meaningful to me. And I wanted to mention, I know some of you may have seen Let's Get By Together being used as a hashtag during the You Can't Delete Us campaign. I had initially brought it up during the time of that campaign because I was really excited about just like making the discovery that Let's Get By Together also stands for LGBT and I just it was awesome and I was excited. So I wanted to try to like spread it around as a hashtag. It didn't super take off, but I just wanted to mention that in case some of you are wondering why it's been used in the past. I tried, it wasn't super popular. It's fine. I'm glad I got to use it now as the name of my nonprofit organization. That's it. I'm really excited and grateful that I get to use my designs to give back to the community that gave me the ability to make those designs in the first place. It just, this wouldn't be happening without all of you. It really wouldn't. So thank you for always believing in me, for being so supportive, for encouraging me. I'm just really happy it's finally gonna be a thing. It's happening, it's here. Assigned nonprofit at birth. I already have a future fundraising campaign in mind. This video actually serves as an announcement for the launch of this nonprofit, but also an announcement for the next upcoming project that I'm really excited about and I hope you're also really excited about. It's going to be to help queer and neurodiverse individuals get access to really helpful tools that really have improved my own quality of life, so hopefully, obviously, will contribute to their quality of life. What I'm able to give back from these campaigns really depends on how much money is raised from the campaigns. No matter what, I know that I will still be able to give something to someone and make at least a little bit of a difference in their life the same way that you've all made 
such a huge impact on my own life. So thank you for being the reason why I get to give back. And thank you for just being so wonderful. You're just, you're great. I love you and I appreciate you. All right, good. Okay, enjoy the rest of this video. Depending on how this goes, there may or may not be bigger plans in the future. I guess we'll have to wait and see how this turns out. One thing I do want to say though, is that the designs that I create and the fundraising campaigns aren't only queer things. I also want to include disability activism. Bear in mind that someone can be disabled and queer. Those those two things, there, there's an intersection there. There's an overlap. That's something that can happen. So the next design to come out is going to be phew, this design. And it says embrace neurodiversity. What I want to do with the profits raised from that campaign is I want to donate noise cancelling headphones and compression wraps to neurodiverse queer folk or neurodiverse kids from queer families, stuff like that. And what I mean by neurodiverse, it could be autistic, someone with ADHD, someone with PTSD, somebody with anxiety, etc. I want these resources to go to people whose quality of life could benefit from having these tools. So that's it for the announcement of my future project. I just wanted to let you all know so that you could get as hyped as we are because I'm really excited about it. Stay tuned for that. And that's it for now. So this video is just an office launch party. So, you know, we have all of the office essentials as one might expect. We have this large calculator. I feel like you need that when you're like, you know, an office person now. Mm -hmm. I have a pocket full of binder clips a jar full of paper clips, so I feel like I'm ready now to run a non-profit organization. I just am pumped. Do you have a pen to sign the papers with? Uh, we also have this balloon celebrating our zero year anniversary because we actually just got this news literally today. We're zero years old and we're celebrating it. So that's it, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it wouldn't be a mediocre office party if there weren't an uncomfortable work appropriate dance party that nobody asked for. Cue the music. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming to our corporate launch party. We hope you enjoyed. I, I hope you're as stoked as I am about this. I am so excited. Feel free to check out the cool links in the description. Uh, there's going to be the link to our website there, www.letsgetbyittogether.org. And stay tuned for the announcement of the next shirt campaign. Until then, I currently have the campaign going on right now for You Can't Erase Us. I'm gonna leave the link for that campaign in the description. 100% of the profits from that campaign will be going directly to fund trends, name, and or gender marker changes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great week, and you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks, bye.